Next on my list of items is this lovely gold tone bracelet. Um, it has uh, flowers and a lovely ribbon design on a textured back. And it's a nice width, but it is actually very nice molded design. It has a mesh here on the back. And uh, you would expect something that this nicely made to be marked, and it is. It's marked here, uh, Sarah Coventry. Um, I was thrilled to find this bracelet because it is so, so pretty. Um, and that's what it looks like with the clasp done up. So I can't wait to wear that. I found this um, interesting textured gold tone brooch. Now it's um, highly textured around the outside and then a very smooth gold tone uh, ribbon in the center. It's not marked. It has uh, the riveted Y-shaped clasp, so it's uh, a little bit older, um, but I have no idea of the maker. Um, it's substantial in its weight, so you could uh, wear it on a jacket, collar, a coat. Um, you'd have to have um, a little heavier, maybe a winter dress, uh, winter weight dress material to wear it on a dress. Another gold tone pin that I found is this one. It's uh, like four links of a chain joined together. Again, gold tone, uh, nicely textured. Um, here's the pin on the back, and right here in the center, it's marked Monet, um, copyright Monet, uppercase M-O-N-E-T. So again, I'll have to um, research if that's modern, uh, you know, recent Monet jewelry, or if it's um, a little bit older. I am hoping I can tell by the uh, script used um, for the name Monet. Um, I've been making an effort to buy more necklaces. Um, I, meant, I uh, mentioned, to, I guess, to Marcia at our vintage store that I don't seem to find very many nice ne necklaces or else necklaces, not necklaces that I would want to wear. Um, and uh, that's, you know, one of the things that uh, prompts me to, you know, to purchase a piece of jewelry. It's something I'd like it to be able to wear it. Um, another thing that prompts me to buy jewelry is uh, semi-precious stones. Here's another uh, snowflake obsidian necklace that I found with uh, dark stone stations. I'm not sure if they are obsidian. Um, I'll have to uh, research that. They may be. Um, uh, so metal findings, uh, metal spacers and, and bead caps. Um, and a lovely, um, again, two-strand um, of a snowflake obsidian chips between uh, the stations. The previous uh, obsidian, uh, snowflake obsidian necklace that I purchased had a large oval pendant and it was also two strands and I was thinking of taking it apart um, and to repurpose the stones. This one I will keep together. It, it's uh, so lovely and wearable um, on its own that uh, I don't think I could improve upon it at all. Um, by repurposing it into other jewelry. Um, so I'm really quite pleased with this one. This necklace is a modern necklace, and I purchased it because I liked it. There's, isn't that a good reason? It has these lovely filigree stations. It's kind of a, a purpley color. You, I, you might think it's sort of antique uh, copper, or, you know, brandy color, but they look even purple. Um, in certain light. And then it goes down from those stations to uh, triple stands of uh, chain in two different sizes. So, um, you know, wearable for casual or dress up. Um, certainly probably could be, you know, looped around um, twice if needed to for a very short necklace. Um, but uh, just a modern piece, but uh, very wearable. Uh, then I picked up a few bracelets, um, a few other bracelets besides the Sarah Coventry. Well, actually, this is another Sarah Coventry. This is a little um, silver tone bracelet, very casual compared to um, this wider um, 
you know, embossed, engraved looking Sarah Coventry. But this is silver tone with a nice texture through the clasp and through the um, solid circles. And it's signed on the reverse here on the clasp. Yes, this way. Sarah Cove, copyright. You may remember that I uh, purchased a multi-strand Aurora Borealis crystal necklace um, a little while back. I had it in one of my videos. And so when I saw this uh, triple strand Aurora Borealis crystal bracelet, I, I uh, pounced on it to pick it up. Now it's interesting in that there's a mismatch between the clasp and these dividers in the bracelet. These dividers, they're not rusty or anything. They are um, a nice, pretty textured, um, you know, a dark copper, uh, you know, three strand spacer on each side, but they don't really go with the color of the crystals or with the silver toned um, clasp at the back. So I'm not sure if somebody restrung this um, or if that's the way it was designed, um, I would have it in mind to change to silver spacers here. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to attempt that very soon though. Um, I'll wait and see. I do have some spacers. Uh, it, it just curious to me why it, why it's like that. And it's not signed. Um, not precious metal on this class, so I'm pretty sure I haven't tested it, but just from the texture on it, um, not precious metal. Um, and it's and it's quite a lightweight clasp. So if you think some, if you think maybe these were not repurposed and and this is a new clasp, I guess that's true too. That would be a lot easier to change the clasp than uh, than to to take it all apart and restring the spacers. So I'll have to think about that. Um, this is quite a find. It's unusual for me to purchase something like this because that's not really something I would wear. Um, it's got this nice heavy um, center gold tone piece filled with amazing um, crystals and a faux pearl. And then lovely glass uh, knotted between them, pearls, and a very pretty rhinestone um, gold tone clasp. And when I saw this, I turned it over to see if it was marked, and it is. And right here, it's marked S-A-L, copyright. And I know that this is a, an older mark for Swarovski. So I'm assuming then that these are Swarovski crystals and Swarovski pearls. And given the, the shine, I, I think I'm right. I didn't test to see if they were real pearls, I doubt. No, they think they're too smooth. Um, so I knew that the SAL mark uh, was Swarovski from a, a pair of earrings that uh, Cindy Loves Jewelry sent in a jewelry package um, about a year ago. And uh, so it's nice to have a little bit of jewelry knowledge like that that you can use. And this is a bracelet that uh, if I were a reseller, I would try to try to resell. So uh, more and more, I'm wondering if I'm going to go into uh, selling some of my jewelry. So this would probably be one of the pieces I might sell. Might make a nice little graduation prom bracelet for a granddaughter, but you know, that's a long time away. <laughs> Okay, some of the pins that I found. Um, this is a silver tone maple leaf pin, with a, a textured silver tone with the nice cutting uh, of the veins of the leaf. And I like to collect maple leaves when I find them. It's uh, sort of patriotic for those of us in Canada. And uh, um, it doesn't have a rivet on the back, but it has this interesting square connector. Uh, so I'm not sure of the age of it. Um, but uh, a nice uh, uh, maple leaf pin for a Canadian to wear. 
I also found this silver tone bow pin, which has marcasites. Um, I think there's one missing right there, but that's not a problem. Um, it, it looks at first like it's marcasites and rhinestones, but actually most of the metal between the marcasites is textured, so it looks shiny. Um, so there are, you know, every other spot there's a, there's a marcasite. Um, so uh, I thought this was a great find um, to find a marcasite pin. Um, doesn't really, well, yeah, the clasp, I think, is attracted to the magnet. The clasp is. The rest of it's not. So I, I'm going to assume it's smooth in the back. I'm going to assume that it's um, not uh, precious metal. doesn't matter to me. Um, it's not signed in any way. Um, uh, in some recent research on one of the Facebook groups I belong to, I found out that uh, manufacturers went from smooth backed pins to textured backs um, uh, in the 50s or so to save um, cost, I guess less metal or less plating involved. So I'm hoping that this is an older pin because of that. I also picked up some earrings. Um, I'm seeming to find uh, more Damascene pieces. Um, probably just tourist pieces, not particularly expensive. These again are clip back earrings and they have um, the uh, bird on them that I like. So those will go nicely uh, with the Damascene bracelet. And that's now the, I think the third pair of Damascene earrings I've found lately.